Hello everyone and welcome back to another to a new series of Caveman to Cosmos. This is SBN 11554 version 30, 43, I believe. Um, last series was version 42. So, I have played about 40 episodes and I thought there was a bug. I uh, finds that there wasn't, but there might still have been a bug. Um, what was happening was not a bug, but I might have fucked up my installation. So I had to delete everything, my all my saves, all my um. Well, I, not all my saves are completely deleted because I I was testing some things out, so I have some saves again. But yeah, I had to test out all the lots of things anyway so there's a new menu for version 3043 svn 555554 and we've got this simple game load game space map scenario full game and custom scenario so if you want fast games simple game and space maps are pretty much what you're wanting to do and if you want a normal game where you decide everything, it's full game and custom scenario. If you look here, the full game allows you to alter things yourself. Whereas if you go into simple game, it doesn't. Uh, so we're actually going to go for a custom scenario because we do want a space map. However, I want this space map. I don't really want any other space map. I know the starting locations for this one, so... We'll see what happens. It says random map, but it's not a random map. Random earth map, but it's not. It's the same earth map every single time. Let's continue. We're going to add three AI, I think. I would like to add quite a few AI, actually. Yeah, let's add lots of AI. We're going to play on Emperor difficulty for the first thousand turns and then I'm going to see how strong I am compared to everyone else and if I'm too strong I will up it to Nightmare instantly otherwise it's going to go to Immortal at turn 1000 and then we'll go for 500 turns after that at turn 1500 we'll go to uh, Deity and then turn 2000 will be at Nightmare anyway so now we don't want barbarians in a space map because barbarians will fuck up the game. Barbarians will spawn in space, uh, which they shouldn't be allowed to do. Which they shouldn't, they can't technically do, but they will spawn in space, and it will clog up the um, clog up the le the amount you can get because well, it's space. We're going to do developing leaders and complex traits. Two of the things I really, really enjoy. We're going to have ruthless AI. Going to enable United Nations. Going to disable national unit limits. I like wonder limits. Going to disable vassal states because that's fucking stupid. Keep diffusion. Keep winning for losing. No tech handicap for leader uh, for humans. Upscaled research time. Beeline stings. Um, realistic culture spread. I actually thoroughly enjoy realistic culture spread. Equilibrium. City starts with one. Tile. Uh, divine profits. Inquisitions. Um, larger cities without metropolitan administration because I think metropolitan administration is far too late in the game to actually care. Happiness penalties is fucking stupid. Upskilled uh, production time. I'm actually not going to have because I do enjoy researching slower but building everything and then being able to like build research or something. This so strict vicinity means that you have to have your culture on a border. Uh, you have to have your culture on a tile in order to benefit from that resource. I can see it being really fun. But it's a pain in the ass. Especially early game. Because there's some things you just cannot get. 
unless your culture grows onto a mountain or onto a hill or onto a jungle. And culture spreads real fucking slow onto hills, especially if the hill has jungles. So I am not going to do this. Yeah. Uh, these don't matter. Personalized. I don't like personalized maps. Animals stay out will stay on. Reckless animals for sure. Teleporting hunt. Teleport hunting awards. Um. Yeah. I, I think it's just too tedious. Otherwise. Uh, peace amongst NPCs. Yes. Size matters, yes. Hide and seek without warning. I want to try size ma size matters this time around because we didn't do it in the last game, and it it's fun. There's some really fun things in size matters. Fight or flight. Um, amnesty for using rite of passage. Great commanders assigned to specialists. Infinite experience. Not going to do more experience. Not going to do downsizing. <clears throat> diplomacy, advanced diplomacy, advanced espionage, advanced nukes, advanced routes, fuck realistic corporations, and everything else can stay off. Cool. We're turning off culture and mastery because it's far too easy to win or lose in cultural difficulty, uh, cultural victories, uh, and mastery just stops you from doing like <coughs> um, some different, some certain things. So. I will see you all in the next episode where we will see who we're playing as. And if it's uh, any of the 24 leaders we've already played as, where we won't be going then. Uh, there is still a lot of leaders. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. Have fun and goodbye.